Hey, it's Nono, and this is a super quick tutorial on how to download uh, files from Colab directly to your hard drive. So this is a process that I would use to automate when you, for instance, train a machine learning model or just generate any file, might be a CSV or a text file or anything you have there or an image. So you can automatically run the notebook and at different points you can download those files to your desk. Let's see. So the first thing you can see here, my folder, so I can do touch, um, new file.txt for instance, right? So this is going to just create this file on the disk. This is taking some time because it's, it's thinking there, uh, was connecting to the, um, to the runtime. And we're gonna also do uh, my text contents. Uh, we're gonna send that to another file.txt, right? So those are two files that we have here now that you know, we could, they could be anything. They could be a machine learning model. They could be a, an image, they could be whatever. So what we do is simply, you know, I'm gonna uh, move this to the side, make this a bit bigger. So import, uh, so I think from Google Colab, import files, right? So we import that library that if you print it, it's just a model from Google Colab files. But now what this allows us to do is that we can do um, files.download and now say, uh, another file txt which is going to be empty and also files download uh, well that actually has contents and this is going to be empty right so i just run that cell with shift enter as any other and uh, you know can file new text because that doesn't exist so we're just gonna run it again so that will download both files in a row that another file txt is going to be duplicated but that doesn't matter so we download one we download the second one so now if we go to our uh, finder folder in downloads, I have these files and you know, I can see their contents. This one has my text contents. So I don't know, you can use it for whatever, but um, one thing you could do is like you generate many, many files, you zip them and then you download them. Um, uh, yeah, you tell me what you wanna use this for, but that's how I, automate the download of files with Google Colab. And this is super useful when you uh, have some long running task in Colab, let's say it takes like six hours or three, and you wanna make sure that if the process ends, your files get downloaded to your disk. This is super important because Colab will uh, refresh your runtime and you will lose access to your files if you haven't saved them, unless you save them to your disk with this approach, or if you save them to your disk in Google Drive. That's another option that we're not gonna cover today, but you could mount your drive and just save your files there. All right, uh, so this was a really quick tutorial on how to save files or download files directly with Google Colab's uh, API in Python. Thank you. Uh, if you like this video, make sure to subscribe and uh, activate the notifications so you get notified when I do live streaming or I upload new videos. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you next time.